how to actually increase your bench press immediately. Firstly, who the hell am I to give you any advice on benching? Let me tell you, I have literally been there. I've been in the exact position that you're in. When I first started lifting, my chest was so weak that I used to just find it outright embarrassing. I would go to the gym to train one hour before it closed, just hoping it would be the quietest so no one was around to see me benching two 15 kilo dumbbells. I was naturally skinny. I was never strong and my chest was probably one of my worst muscle groups for natural strength. I was weak. I've managed to get to a fairly respectable point where I can bench some okay weight. Nothing outrageous, but I am natural. And I'm not gonna sit here and tell you, just do this and just do that, like other guys who have just injected steroids have done and have suddenly tripled their bench. This is coming from genuine experience. So let's get straight into it. Tip number one. When you're training your chest, one of the best things you can do is hit a variation in your rep ranges. What this means is you're not gonna go into your chest session and you're not just gonna hit one rep max every single time. You're gonna try high reps, you're gonna try low reps, you're gonna try pause reps, negatives, anything you can just to get yourself more comfortable underneath that barbell. Having this variation will allow you to develop much more comfortability when you're underneath the bar. There is so much more involved in the bench press than literally just coming down and pressing up. Getting that familiarity with the bar really will help you out when it comes to increasing your bench press. So just to expand on this, what I mean is hit some high rep sets, hit some low rep sets, and then during your workouts as well, just introduce some negatives. Hit some pause reps so you're staying down the bottom of the movement and then exploding up. This will help you generate more power. Explore these different rep ranges and set variations, get more familiar with the bar and increase that power. Tip number two, get your grip right. This one is absolutely essential because if you're even slightly too wide or too narrow, you could be working the wrong muscle group more than necessary. So what's the rule of thumb for this? You want to find a grip that when you come down with the barbell, you have a nice right angle on your arm. You're not too far out, you're not too far in, you've got a nice natural right angle. This will allow the motion to be nice and smooth and there won't be any weird, unnecessary movements. Get that right angle, get comfortable and press. Now one little side tip here is I do what's known as the suicide grip. Uh, I don't actually know if there's any benefit to this or not, but ever since I changed to it, I just felt a bit more manly and a bit more beasty Maybe it increased my bench press, maybe it didn't. I don't know why it's called the suicide grip because you do still have control. Yeah, I'm not gonna say do it, but all I am saying is I do it and I do feel like it helps because you're kind of pressing more than you're like, you know, whatever that is, riding a motorbike, whatever. Not a tip, could be a tip, take it with a pinch of salt. Tip number three, lifting wraps. I have absolutely no idea why these are more popular. They're cheap and they actually work. Wearing wraps gives you much more stability and it also protects your joints. It also might be a placebo, but when I put these on, I do tend to get one to two more reps on my heavy sets. Could be a placebo, they could just give you that extra little boost. Who knows, either way, I'm taking two more reps if I can get two more reps. Get yourself some lifting wraps, wrap up good, have that extra support on the joints and bang out some heavy presses. Tip number four, make sure you're training your shoulders and your triceps just as much as your chest. When it comes to hitting a heavy bench, all of your pushing muscles need to be strong. Pushing muscles being your shoulders and your triceps. Work on these just as much. Which also goes back to point one, when you're training your shoulders and triceps, hit those rep variations, hit that different style of training. Just train good, train hard, train consistent, and hit all of your body. But when it comes to bench press, get those tries pumped, get those shoulders worked on, and your pressing will get much stronger. Just to really help back up this point, some exercises that I would recommend for this would be your standing barbell military press for shoulders and to close grip bench for your triceps. These exercises will again be helping with your familiarity on the barbell just to make sure that you've got all of your muscles engaged correctly for the movement. Tip number five, just stay consistent. I know this is one that you've probably heard before, but it does ring true. Just staying consistent will give you the most results out of everything. Consistency beats intensity every single time. If you just keep going and you keep pushing and you keep working, you will increase your bench press. Don't go being disheartened if you're not pressing 100 kilos overnight, but I promise you, just staying consistent and following these tips will get you closer and closer every single session. This is my first video. There'll be plenty more like this, so please subscribe for plenty more.